Hey guys, what's up? The Fisher back again in Prison Architect. It's been a while since we played Prison Architect. We're up to Alpha 32. I don't remember. I don't remember what version we were playing before, but it was back um, before Christmas last year, if memory serves. Uh, and I can't remember why we stopped playing. I think it was bankruptcy because uh, we never actually finished this whole wing over here. So I'm thinking we went bankrupt. Uh, but we're going to be starting a new prison which is very exciting, but we're going to sell this one. We're hemorrhaging money. H hemager we're losing a lot of money. We're, we're going to go bankrupt, I think. But if we sell this prison, we get $175,000 to help us start our new prison. So, let's do that. We're going to generate a new world, or a new, a new area to play with. And we're going to hit play. This should give us, yeah, $200,000 to start. That's very nice. First thing we're going to do, we're going to pause it. And we're going to expand our delivery area. That's one new feature we have in this current version. If we have a big delivery area, multiple trucks can unload at once, which is very nice. And we'll put a little export zone over here as well. It's worth mentioning that D DX Tori still doesn't like Prison Architect, so again, we're using OBS. So I'm not able to do the usual uh, vocal stuff on my commentary that I like to do. Can't clean it up and remove uh, background noise as well. I should be able to reduce it, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully the audio levels are all balanced, because I can't adjust them in post, so uh, it might take a couple of videos to get things nice and set up. Uh, but I think... What we're going to do, we're going to pause it, and I'm going to lay down a plan uh, of what we're going to do, at least to start here. We'll, I'll do that off camera like we did last time, just to keep things flowing for you guys. Uh, last time we had all our stuff sort of inside, uh, one solid building surrounding a central yard. I think this time we're going to have multiple different buildings uh, throughout our prison, just to be a little bit different to last time. So I'm going to do that, and when we come back... Uh, we'll start laying down the foundations. So I'll see you very soon. Alright, so let me show you what I came up with. I've probably forgotten some things, and there's no doubt going to be things that don't work out as I've planned. But this is going to be our first cell block, probably for minimum security prisoners to start off with. Uh, it's going to hold more than 50. I thought that was important, since all of the the uh, cell block grants go up in in you know 50s. So we'll have a shower and a common room in the center, easily accessed by all the inmates. Uh, this is just some rooms for our power, a uh, cleaning cupboard, and a laundry that will service this cell block. We have a nice big yard out here with our reception, which is a new building, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Our uh, parole room, again, another room, another new room, I should say, and our visitation. I actually forgot to put these in, so we're going to put them between our two fences, which should be okay, I think. Then we'll have a classroom, a uh, chapel, and a workshop, I think this one was. Our kitchen and canteen that will serve as this cell block will be right here. Then we have some offices, a security room, an armory, a morgue, and a medical room. I think that'll all work, that'll all work out uh, for right now. We'll see if I forgot anything as we go, but I guess first things first, we'll start throwing down some foundations. Uh, let's start right in here. We'll get these little guys up. They shouldn't take too long. Whoa, the FPS. And we'll drop in this huge-ass cell block. And this little thing back here. We'll leave off these other ones for just a minute. We'll let our guys get that stuff done. Uh, what did I want to do? Oh, yeah. Let's close our prison for right now. Oh yeah, the the intake screen is very different. We can choose what sort of inmates we want with weighted sliders. We'll look at that some more uh, once we actually open our prison to inmates. Having some FPS issues that I'm not a f big fan of. A lot of FPS issues, actually. Uh, the reason, incidentally, that I don't record with the x -Tor, I don't know if I've mentioned it. Did I mention it? I don't know, I've been fooling around in this thing, playing this for like an hour. 
But FPS, DX Story hates Prison Architect. I think I mentioned it. Uh, um, yeah. So let's uh, throw up. Let's throw up. No, don't do that. Uh, some do doors here. Just like this. I'll be good over there. Wow, FPS. Can't build that door there yet because there's too many trees in the way, but we can throw one on the back. Uh, we'll put a staff only door in here. Uh, we'll put a double jail door and a single jail door. I don't like to use regular doors at all in my prison. I like guards to always be there if people are trying to get into rooms. That way, if they're not supposed to be in the room, uh, we can stop them, you know? We'll uh, accelerate a bit of time with these guys. Fill in these foundations, and we'll stop putting down our actual rooms. And yeah, I'm, I'm, th I'm thinking we'll use this first cell block pretty much solely for minimum security. We'll get started nice and easy with some guys who aren't going to cause any trouble. And we'll just build up from there a little. It took those two a long time to figure out how to get unstuck from that wall. These little tiny foundations shouldn't take long. Let's actually hire some more workmen. Yeah, we, uh, we... Okay, we'll go 14 then. I forgot you can't right-click to uh, clear out the, the selections. Shouldn't take too long for that cell block to get finished. At least the foundation. It's going to take us a long time to to outfit the rooms and and put up the the internal walls, but it'll work out. Uh, yeah, we can put down the yard, I guess, while we're waiting on this stuff. Rooms. Yard. Where is the yard? I can never find anything. It's like RimWorld, right? Can never find the rooms I'm looking for. We'll put some uh, weight benches and stuff out here once we have uh, less important things to do. We should actually maybe set some guys to put up our fencing right away, because it's going to take them a long time. We do have room to expand. I do intend to expand. This is just our. Our first little starting uh, prison complex here. Wow, FPS. Hopefully I can fix that, because it's, it's annoying me. I don't know about you guys. But OBS is working better than DX Story, so we'll go with that. It'll probably be less of an issue when we stop accelerating quite so much time and having all this pathfinding going on. Got a hell of a lot of trees. We don't have a library yet. We'll look at that a little later, I guess. I know I'd forget something. I'll probably put it back here, because we'll, we'll only want one library for all of our our different uh, categories of inmates. And we're just going to use this one yard as well, I think. Uh, some prisoners might get their own separate yards, like uh, uh, the... not max sec, the super max, and uh, protective custody. I think they'll have their own little mini yards, just to keep them separated from the rest of our prison population. <coughs> Super Max guys, of course, are generally your troublemakers. So it's a good idea to to keep them away from your more squishy inmates. And protective custody, well, because you don't want to get murdered, so keep them away from all the murderers, you know? Um, are you going to pop this thing in, guys? You got like two pieces of foundation you have to build. I mean, I'm okay for you to focus on this stuff. This is you know, the the bigger task. 
I guess it's okay. Shouldn't take too long to kick in at all, actually. I think those extra workmen we hired is definitely helping. Oh, speaking of stuff, let's pick up some grants. Let's get the basic detention center grant and the administration center grant for now. Oh, and this stuff is done. Let's throw down our internal walls here. Put a jail door in there as well. So one of these rooms is going to temporarily be a holding cell. Maybe even a shower. Just so we can have this uh, grant complete real quick. I don't think we'll have a, a holding cell when we when we open up our prison properly. I don't think we'll generally need such a thing. We'll probably end up making a, a shared cell block later on for overflow. But we'll try and keep our our intake lower than the cells we have, just to make sure everybody has a cell. Oh, and this time around, I'm going to mention, I'm not going to worry about light placement. I was a bit anal last time we played it. And... I got frustrated a lot by light placement, so I'm just going to ignore the lights. If people don't have lights in their cells, that's not my problem. I guess they just don't get to read at night. Or during the day, for that matter, because, let's face it, we don't have any windows. We could put windows in, but fuck that. Too much micro for me. We could start laying out some of these rooms, I guess, so we remember what they are. So we will have... Oh, we can't put visitation up yet, can we? We have to research it, I think. I don't actually remember. So we'll put our parole, par parole room down there. And we'll throw in a visitor table. So our inmates can have parole hearings. I wonder if we can do more than one at, one at, one at a time if we put multiple visitor tables in. Let's do it, just in case we can. I'll put a bunch in there in the visitation. The exterior wall is almost finished. We might even want to expand our delivery zone. But once all these constructions finish, we shouldn't have quite such a big backlog of trucks. So I'm not going to worry about it. Waiting for this foundation to kick in, and we can get our electricity and water down. We're gonna be having multiple, at least electricity generators for this prison because we're, wow. You guys can't find those lights, really? Well, there's a door right there. Their pathfinding just took a, a giant shit. Our, our entire population of workmen were just like, nah, don't know how to get in there. There's a fucking door, but we're stupid. If you guys could finish this foundation for me, that would be great. Uh, we'll have to get this office block set up as well, so we can complete that grant. But for right now, let's get our electricity in. get a few of those for right now and a water pump and we'll bring the electricity straight through here hopefully that will be enough coverage if not we can always do some little sideways ones there's no reason why not let's wait for that power cable till we know where we're putting our, our washers and stuff and we have light. At least a little bit of it. In this one room, but eh, it's better than no light at all, right? Let's 
throw down some walls. Uh, let's not worry about the laundry and cleaning cupboard yet. There are far more important things to do. Like our cell block. So let's do that. Those are our solitary cells, so we won't worry about those just yet. Let's start out by getting this block here set up. Please don't trap yourselves in there, guys. I know you're not too, too smart. But somebody needs to put these doors in. Oh, really? You're all going to get stuck in the same fucking room? You guys are so smart. Good job. You figured it out. And we can set up... A nice little bit of cell right there. And for the cells, we're going to need beds. I said beds. Oh, that's not how you rotate. This isn't room world. Put our beds in that way around. And some toilets. A little bit tedious. I suppose it would have been faster if I'd done one side and then the other, but... Eh. I'm nothing if not inefficient. Now we're going to need to bring some power down to these other rooms, of course. Let's do that. Let's pull it out here and... Straight down there. It's a lot of power cable. I suppose we could have gone across there, but fuck it. We've done it be happy. I need a real long power cable. And as for our water, let's have a big old pipe. That might be enough for providing water to all of our cells. I don't know the exact number on how far little pipes can go away from the big pipes. I think it's like 15 blocks, maybe? Maybe a little bit more. So, now we do have some cells. We could actually open up our prism just a little bit. Let's do that. Let's bring... How many cells do we have? Ten. Let's bring... I guess we'll bring all of the currently available prisoners, which is only four. Oh well. It's a start. Let's get our reception set up. Reception's a new room. Now let's, uh... Your prisoners enter your prison before they get assigned to cells and stuff. Well, they will be strip-searched and... I guess de-loused. That's still a thing they do, right? Probably not, but it might be. So we need a desk, a chair and a table. I don't like that position. Let's put it down here instead. Let's actually use two tables. Just because we can. Uh, let's start buying up some guards as well. Preemptively. We'll start with five. It's a good number. They're probably all going to hang out in reception. Yeah. That's okay. Uh... As for the rest of our stuff, let's put down some more of these foundations. Let's get this block set up, because we need to start doing some research. We'll do this one. And fuck it, we'll do this one as well, because we need to feed our prisoners, too. Let's not forget that. We'll put a, a large door right there. Staff door right there. And jail doors... Hmm. Well, it's going to be slightly derpy size. That looks like it's centered. I didn't want to use a double door on the chapel. That seemed a bit excessive. 
We'll let all that happen. I guess we can come up here and put down some more stuff. Are you guys doing the, the pipes or... Oh. Well, somebody ought to, you know, plug that in. It seems important. And we'll throw down some more uh, walls here too. Let's actually set up one of these rooms so that when our prisoners arrive they can actually shower. And we'll, we'll set up this block as well in case anybody misbehaves. And we'll let that all kick in. Let's put some stuff down in our yard while we're waiting. Get some weights benches. Let's go one, two, three from the edge. Put just a just a couple. That's quite a lot, but eh. We'll throw some one, two, three. Some phones over this side. I actually like how that happened. I was clicking and dragging, but the game decided it wanted to uh leave some gaps, but I like the way it looks, so let's uh let's do that. I actually want to leave some gaps between these guys as well. Let's try not to crowd our prisoners too much. Oh. Yeah, that's a thing. Let's, uh... Just put in a little door. So people can get in there. We'll do it on the other side as well. So we don't forget. I wonder how long that workman's been trapped in there. Probably a f fucking forever. Hopefully he's not too mad. Hey! We got lights. Let's put down some paving stones, just because we can. They look pretty, and they make our people and prisoners move faster. I want to get rid of that whole planning thing around the yard, too. It's getting annoying. Try and remember to do that. Let's just put the paving stones wherever we have doors. Oh no. I suppose that's okay. It's too big a gap there. That's that's annoying, but oh well. We'll try not to have that gap next time on the other side. A little bit of wasted space. But never mind. Oh, we didn't actually put a door down here. Let's do that. Get a staff door there. And there. Get a jail door there. Staff door there. Let's actually have a solitary door on our armory. It's a little bit harder to break down. Some doors for our offices. Alright, so we have our canteen and kitchen area. So we'll put that wall up. Let's get rid of some of this planning. We'll leave the canteen planning up for right now because I pre-planned where I was going to put the stuff to make sure our size was good. I thought for a second I was putting benches down. That would have been silly. Bunch of tables. Bunch of benches. whole bunch of benches. Click, 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 click. So much clicking. We need a serving table. Oh. Oh, we'll have a serving table. I misjudged the size there. I thought they were the same size as benches, but evidently not. That's okay. I don't think we need any more than one. 
Uh, let's get some cookers. Like that. Some down here as well. Now, it turns out there is a, a ratio. We need like two fridges, or one fridge per two cookers. So we have two, four, six, eight cookers, so we need four, four fridges, right? But then we can put in an extra fridge and two more cookers. That's going to be excessive. I don't think we need that many. But better to have too many than too little. That's not right. I wanted a, a sink. There we go. We'll put down the rooms as well. Canteen. Kitchen. Wait. <laughs> I I fucked it up. It took me far too long to realize what I had done there. Just proves how dumb I am, I guess. Oh, we have some more trapped workmen. Somebody go rescue them from solitary confinement, please. Let's also set up our solitary cells while we're here. Let's, let's give them some toilets in solitary as well. So they can at least empty their, their bladders and bowels. Not that evil. On some beds, or a bed, another toilet, and we can make another cell. Oh, and we need to get our shower set up. That's pretty important. Okay. So I didn't plan for size for our shower, so this might not be optimal. We'll see how we get along here. Let's start down here in case uh, it's not the right size for evenness and symmetry. That's a weird beeping noise game. But yeah, it's, it's not the right size. I think what we're going to do, we're going to dismantle these. We'll just have sort of a an empty space in the middle. I think that'll be okay. And a couple of drains so we don't get any flooding. So one hour till our prisoners arrive. Let's make sure we get a couple of cooks. Okay. Oh, we're gonna need a holding cell temporarily as well. So let's just uh, make this into a holding cell. Need a toilet and a bench in there. And we'll just let the, the thing complete and then we'll get rid of the holding cell. It'll be fine. Let's make sure we get all our pipes set up here as well. Uh, let's do this first. Our prisoners are here. I'm actually going to slow down time a little bit. I think we're using more pipe than we need to right there, but I'm okay with that. So how far is this? Fifteen tiles. I don't know if that'll be far enough, so let's not do that. We'll bring in that big pipe over here. We'll do it like this. That should be more than enough water for all of our needs. Take them in a little bit, bit of time to have that all kick in. But our prisoners are being brought in. So we have Johnson here. Martin Johnson. Benjamin Dennington. Marcin Zagrodz Zagrodsky. 
And we had some other guys, but we seem to have lost them. We have four, right? Oh, they're all in there. Okay. And we have James Bailey. I don't think we counted him before. I'm not going to be looking at all of our prisoners like we did last time. Uh, I'm going to try n and just pay attention to names. That might not be entirely feasible. So let's bring in 10 more prisoners tomorrow, and we'll try and get 10 extra cells set up. That should be fine. Oh, we have another <laughs> trapped workman. God damn it, guys. Stop locking yourselves in boxes. Uh, we're still not plugged up down here. That seems important. That's the problem with running on extreme time acceleration for extended periods of time. You screw up like that. I think we don't need to plug this fridge in and the rest will propagate. We'll see how that works out. We'll bring down this large pipe and connect those two sinks. We can deconstruct these things. We don't need them anymore. We completed that uh, that grant. And we can... I don't know why I selected that. We can just cancel it without selecting. Get rid of the holding cell. Like that. 